Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday Thursday, hope you are all well. Thanks for joining me for another Bargain Beer Review. Up on the show today, tipping the scales at 4.5% ABV, cost me £1.25 English pence from Home Bargains here in the UK. It's a Theakston XB. Um, quite funky artwork on there. It did have a gold cap. Unfortunately, I did the pour, was gibbering away and realised I didn't press the record button on the camera. However, get going on the review. But before we review it, a couple of last mysteries for you. Will the aluminum or aluminium wedge of Iuda ever be explained? And why do they say dirt cheap when land is anything but? Anyway, here we go. This is how it originally poured, but it's dissipated a, a tad. So let me just try and go in and force a, a wee bit ahead on there, who her miss is. There we go. I do quite like that artwork. Thiexton's a long-standing brewery here in the UK, established 1827, so they must be doing something right. There we go, that pours quite a nice nice bronze colour with a little bit of red hue in there as well. Not overly busy on the carbonation, wasn't expecting it to be honest on this particular style of beer. Okay, right, let's go for a sniff and see what we get. Big, big malt profile on that, and maybe raisiny, sultana, maybe a snidge of molasses in there as well, but yeah, dark fruit. Right, no real hot pro, sorry, no, yeah, no hot profile coming out, all malt, malt, malt. Right, head has dissipated, so let's go for a taste. Cheers, everyone. Okay, you get that dark fruit, fruit back in there again, that um, raisin sultana, you get the hit of the malts as well, maybe some husks off the grain, bitter kicking in really now, that is a old school British pint. Um, uh, one of my um, peers on YouTube might call this a dishwater pint. It's that style of beer. Um, if you're a hop head, you'll be very, very disappointed because you can't really taste any hops in there. I would imagine in the in the brew process, it's got, I would say, fuggles because I might be getting a little bit of aftertaste of a, a snidgy bit of pepper. So I'm wondering, yeah, fuggles in the brew process somewhere. Um, no real lacing as such. All that that bit there looks like a bit of Hebrew writing, and the head has come back a little. Medium to thin mouth feel, to be honest. I think if you're into hoppy beers, you'll be a little bit disappointed on this. But if you are into hoppy beers, it's nice to try something like this because your palate adjusts to the malt profile of a beer without necessarily you know looking for the hop profile straight away as soon as it sort of uh, hits the inside of your mouth or the or the or the insides of your nostrils um interesting beer as i say old old school type beer in my humble opinion um and i can't really say any more than that if you see one pick one up Again, so if you're an old school beer fan, you'll enjoy it. If you're into new age type beers, it will take you back to bygone days of British brewing. Give it a go. Right, that does it for me. Thirsty Thursday score out of 10. That for me is a... I'm going to give that a 6.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching everyone. See you again real soon, right here for another Bargain Beer Review. Be seeing you.